So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna do some crazy shit. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Remember this? Uh-huh. So I rebuilt it as a 300 blackout. And I put the scope on it so I can sight it in. And we're gonna see how quiet it is. That's really what I'm going for is quiet. I, I did this so that I could sight it in and get some accuracy testing out of it. But the reality is, is I just wanna see how quiet it is. But it was, it was just too tempting. I had to do it. Yes, the loader stamped. So let's start off with some 124 grain S and B, right? Something real simple, something that's not gonna get us in trouble, kind of function test the gun. And then I'm gonna take my earplugs out and we'll move on to the, how quiet is it? Hold on. There's like no recoil. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. All right, let's check the cases. They're pushing out a little bit. I don't know what that's about. I'm not getting any high pressure sign on this at all, really. It's probably just crappy brass. It's S&B, what are you gonna do, right? Okay. That's subsonic. I'm gonna do two rounds. I took my earplugs out. I wanna actually hear how quiet or how loud it is. It definitely wasn't Hollywood quiet. It was loud. Yeah, little ringy in the ears. Definitely way quieter than without the can though. All right, now we're gonna do two rounds of those subs with no suppressor on there. I put my hearing protection back in. I like to listen to music for the rest of my life. Oh yeah, I put a muscle break on this. <laughs> loud it was loud it wasn't horrible but it was loud compared to with the can on it it was loud now let's do a couple of rounds out of the semi-auto upper um, what happens is is the gas comes through the tube and it goes into the gas key on top of the bolt carrier group and it goes down into the bolt carrier group and it pushes the bolt carrier group back and then the cam twists the bolt and unlocks it from the barrel extension and then it cycles, okay? Any gas after it's unlocked gets vented, gets vented out of these two holes right here, okay? So you are getting fast moving gases coming out of the gas holes, okay? And that's where you get all of your extra sound from on a semi-auto. So I wanna compare the difference and see if it's substantial. Ooh, didn't cycle, didn't like those. It was pretty quiet. These might be a little too soft to run the system. Yeah, that didn't cycle all the way. Oh, it did. Wow. Those were just barely running this can, or uh, this gun, just barely. Those are pretty quiet. So it might actually be a little bit quieter than the bolt action. I don't know, I'll have to look at the film. I ran those with my hearing protection in, so I'm kind of, I can't, I can't judge. 
All right, I'm going to shoot one more. I took my hearing protection out uh, on the semi-auto. I got to, it's the only way I can really tell. It's about the same. It was about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. To the naked ear, you can't tell. If I had measuring systems, I might be able to tell. But it's, um, I don't know that one's even quieter than the other, to be honest with you. I'm not sure that there's an advantage. Now, this is just one at piece type of ammo. And quite frankly, this gun, I just found out doesn't like this ammo. I've got some other subsonic here I'm going to test it out against from a different company. And we'll see if it makes a difference or not. All right, I'm going to try these 220 grain full metal jackets. This is by a different company. This is Siege. It's a, it's a local company. Um, so we'll see how it runs. I have the semi-auto on there first, so we'll run that. I'll swap them over, start the film again, and we'll run a couple more out of the bolt action. I'm going to leave my hearing protection out for these just so I can... I have a better way of telling, you know, just how quiet it really is. That was pretty loud. Not horrible. A little ringy. It was definitely in the triple digits. It was not double digit. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't screaming 160 to 165 decibels either. Okay, so a couple rounds of the 220 siege out of the uh, CD5. That's louder. That's louder than the semi-auto. Clear it's it's dis distinctly louder. Doesn't self load either. Bolt action. I forgot. Yeah, it's louder. The bolt action's louder than the semi-auto. That's super weird. I would have guessed the opposite.